Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. You know, it was eight years ago that I stood right here, and I had my picture taken uh, for the News Virginia um, as after the city of Waynesboro had decided that we were going to be able to save this house. And here we are eight years later, and it has been completely reborn, and I have to say thank you because a new chapter has now opened up. When I look at this house, it is, to me, gorgeous. Um, people went past this place for years and years and years, and so they need to tear it down. And not knowing the beauty that lied underneath of those boarded up windows and the painting that was peeling and everything else, we literally took all those layers of stuff off and we brought it back to life. And as I look at it right now, it is incredible to me. So I have to say thank you because the next step on the journey for this red brick house is getting this house registered as a historic landmark in the national registry and making sure that all of the history of this house is never forgotten now i have had the uh, waynesboro historic society they donated a thousand dollars towards our brick walkway that's here right now this is the first step this is only the first step of the bricks and these are really set here more temporarily till we get more of the bricks we're going to be expanding the the areas where you see the mulch that's already compacted gravel and everything else that we have protected that we will increase the uh, number of bricks that are on here and we already have uh we i believe we had 12 more people who have ordered bricks to help raise funds for uh the red brick house on this brick campaign and you can start to see the effect the row that's right here is actually going to move over and that'll be the history of Waynesboro listed on there. But let me show you guys what it looks like. Shout out to Debbie and Randy. Larry Woods. Ronnie and Allie Johnson. Larry Woods, love one another, Shane and Jana, Rex and Angel, and Larry Wood. And here is where it all started. That decade of 1810, the city population of Waynesboro, 250. 17 states, the first steam ferry, War of 1812, Battle of Waterloo. In 1819, David and Mary Bush sold the land to Captain William Brown in 1889 for $200. He fought in the War of 1812 and was a man. Now, they say that during the Civil War, the reason why this house wasn't burned down was because he was a Mason, and Masons respected Masons. Now, as I walk over here, for me, this whole place comes full circle. First of all, this is what greets me every morning through the bedroom window. Right there. If that's not beautiful, I don't know what is. There used to be the old Presbyterian church originally was right there. And they say that the reason why the land drops off the way it does right there is because that's where they actually dug up the clay to make the bricks for the house. But I'm walking over here to the old Presbyterian Cemetery, which dates back to the 1700s. And what I want to show you is, to me, this is amazing. Good morning, Mary, David. Right. This is Mary Bush is buried right here. See, the Bush family owned what most of Waynesboro is, and it was the Bush farm. So they had the church, of course, that they built later on. Of course, they sold off that land. Of course, they had the cemetery where they had to bury their family dead and stuff. And they sold the land to William Brown, the Revolutionary War soldier, to build what was going to be the first school in the area. So there's a brief bit of the history of Waynesboro, as well as 
the sunrise here at the Red Brick House. And let me say thank you everybody who has and will purchase a stone. The cost of the uh, bricks to help us get this registered is $100 and the bricks themselves within reason. I don't want to see cowboys stink or something like that on them. You get up to four lines of copy with 22 characters on the brick and it's a hundred dollars and the proceeds will go to getting this incredible house listed in the national registry i'm mark holmes and i appreciate you guys or look at the house i feel an incredible sense of pride every time i see this house and am glad that is a big part of the community have a great day you know sometimes things happen timing wise in life it's crazy because to have that gentleman ride his antique car in front of the house while i was here right after i got this done is crazy um but that's the way this goes that that's gonna little i think i'm gonna go ahead and take that picture and i am going to get it blown up and get it framed because that gives you an idea what it might have looked like um you know 90 years ago when cars were going past this house and that's the great thing about history that you don't want to forget is seeing and learning about the past i'm mark holmes and i appreciate you guys